I recently scavenged an old TV rabbit ears antenna and put it to use as a VHF UHF antenna for amateur radio. I found a lot of suggestions on various internet forums that this idea is feasible and that it works well, but information on specifically how to do it is scarce or non-existent. I'm going to fill that void with this video. You're going to need three things. Of course, a set of rabbit ears with telescoping antenna elements, 50 ohm coaxial cable, such as RG58 or RG8U, I'm using RG8U, and an antenna analyzer such as an MFJ269 or you can use an amateur 2 meter transmitter with an SWR meter. First, remove any stock antenna cable that came with the rabbit ears. 300 ohm twin lead will not work at all. The 75 ohm RG6 cable TV coax cable that comes with some rabbit ears may work in a pinch but you'll get much better results with 50 ohm coax. It does not matter which element you connect the coax shield and center conductors as long as you make a firm mechanical connection and the elements are not shorted together. I even added a dab of hot glue in there to keep the cable in place. Now element length is critical in obtaining an antenna impedance of 50 ohms. The element angle also plays a role in properly matching the antenna impedance to the coax cable's impedance and your radio's antenna circuits. Begin by setting the element length to approximately 19 or 20 inches. This is approximately quarter wavelength in the 2 meter band. If you don't have a tape measure handy, just use your forearm length from your elbow to the tip of your fingers. Make one element vertical to the floor and make the other element point down about 45 degrees from horizontal. Turn on your antenna analyzer and set it for your desired transmitting frequency. I will use 146.52 MHz, the national 2 meter simplex calling frequency. Okay, here's the end result. This element is connected to the center conductor of the coax is vertical and this element that's sloping down is connected to the coax shield. The antenna analyzer is set to 146.5, the SWR is 1.4. If I sweep the frequency down to the low end of the 2 meter band, SWR rises to 1.8 at 144 megahertz. If I sweep it back up to the high end, the SWR drops to 1.1 at 148 megahertz. This means that the elements are just a little bit too short. It's tuned for the high end of the band. I want to lengthen them by maybe a quarter or a half an inch to try to get that dip in the SWR in the middle of the band near 146.5 megahertz. Okay, I've made the adjustments to the antenna elements and at 146.52 the SWR is 1.1 to 1. If I sweep it down to the low end of the 2 meter band the SWR rises to 1.4 at 144 megahertz. If I sweep it back up the band, it dips to 1.1 at 146 and then rises again to 1.4 at 147.98. So that's about where we want it. Okay, W3WGW from KB3HEV, how copy? KB3HEV, this is W3WGW mobile. And uh, got a real nice signal there, uh, Cliff, uh, full quieting. I give you an S10 on two meter. If it's HF, I give you five nine. Sound real good. Yeah, I appreciate it, Billy. You say I'm um, full quieting into the machine? Oh yeah, yeah, just you. 
sound like you're right here in the truck with me. So uh, the, the antenna is working real well. Well, that's surprising. Uh, it's indoor right here in the Racy's room. I've got it clamped to the uh, the desk here. And uh, it's the one of the, I guess the lobe, the antenna element, the ground plane antenna element is kind of pointed to, I suppose, the northeast, kind of away from the repeater. So that's kind of surprising. W3WGW from KB3HEV. Okay. Uh, let me turn the antenna around and get it facing the opposite direction, uh, what would technically be facing the repeater. And uh, can you let me know the difference? I can try. I mean, you sound, you sound perfect right now, but yeah, go ahead. Okay, let's turn this around. turned around now so it's facing the opposite direction a w3 wgw from kb3 hev how copy now the antenna is now facing uh somewhat to the south hopefully pointed toward the repeater uh, it sounds the same to me i mean like i told you before it sounded, it sounded perfect so you still sound the same way I uh, roger that. I appreciate it. Yeah, I'm picking up uh, a lot more noise when it's uh, pointing toward the south. So I'm uh, not particularly sure where it's originating from. But uh, I thank you for the signal reports, Billy. W3WGW from KB3HEV. Anyway, good to hear from you. Have a great day. KB3 ATV. This is W3 WD. 